God will not entrust you with anything if he knows that you can't take care of it. This morning I'm here to let you understand that as a child of God, whatever you are going through, it is there to lift you up and it is there to make you strong. The devil, he lost his position, but he did not lose his power. The devil lost where he stands, but he came on earth with his power. So we are dealing with somebody that you have to have a wisdom to deal with him. When you deal with the enemy with emotions, you will fail. When you deal with the enemy with how you feel, you will fail. You have to deal with the enemy crying and you are still facing him. Amen. God is good. And all the time. Listen. No matter what you are going through. No matter what you, it's eating you up. It's going to make you strong. I want you to learn, learn this. This word. This one too shall pass. That is one of my pillars I survive with. Whatever I go through. If you lose a job, God doesn't want you to be there. If you lose it, it means God doesn't want you to be there. Amen. You have to go through pain. It is normal. But as a child of God, when you lose a job, it means God doesn't want you to be in that job. Amen. Why, why will you lose a job if God bless you with a car? How are you going to take care of the car? God doesn't do things like that. If God don't want you to pay for it, he won't bless you with a car. But God will not bless you with a car and take your job. So when you lose it, it means that God wants something better to come into your life. But it's the mindset you have to be ready to receive. Amen. Some of us, when we lose things, we cry more than we pray. We complain more than we, we tell God. This morning, I have a short word for you, amen. Somebody say amen. amen. Oh, come on, somebody say amen. amen. God is good. Amen. And all the time. Amen. I am happy that I am going through certain things in my life now. To, to know, this morning, let me tell you, this morning, I, as we were coming here, I said, I wish, uh, Archbishop will, will write down all the things he went through and we'll be reading it. Because whatever I am going through, I was saying to myself, wow, this man has been through hell. Amen. But when they are writing their books, they don't write that. They write the one that will lift you up. Why? Because as a child of God, I would say the thought. So the only plan God has for you is to go up. That is why when they're writing their books, they don't write what is going to break it down or what they went through. It's only maybe one, one page you see them writing something about themselves. The rest is to lift you up. Because God wants you to lead a good life. God wants you to enjoy yourself. Amen. Don't turn yourself into an angel. You are not an angel. Don't do the work of God for him. You are man. Enjoy yourself as man and worship God. Amen. Listen, I will always say this and I will say it all the time. If you go to the store and you see something that is nice, buy it for yourself. Wear it to church. And feel good within yourself. Don't worship God and feel like you, 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 are, you, are, you are Moses. You are no Moses. You, you, you understand? No, I... I like people who worship God and they are themselves. You understand? Don't, don't worship God and, and be like you. You, you, are, you are the one who is supposed to open the door for Jesus to come through. Or so. You are not Jesus. Be you and worship God and be happy. Are you understanding me? Don't worship God like you are, uh, you are Elijah. You are not Elijah. 
You are not Elijah. You belong to the king's house. Be yourself. Enjoy yourself. No, you understand? Listen, this is one of my pillars. Because, listen, back in the day, I saw what my father went through as a man of God. You look like if you, if you are worshiping God. Back in the day, the, the program is that if you are worshiping God, you, you have to be poor. When you are rich, it means that it's a problem. So now I've programmed my mind that I will enjoy myself and worship God. If I drive through Willie Avenue and I feel like I need, I, I need to go to Dunkin' Donuts, I'll go. I won't let you, you understand. And if I, hey, listen, if I go to the music store and you ask me, are you bishop? I say, I'm not bishop, I'm Josh. Amen. I'm coming to check things out like everybody else. Eventually, they will find out. Amen. But I want to enjoy myself like everybody. Once I say you are bishop, everybody change. No, are you under, all their style will change towards you. Amen. Be you. Don't be anything. Be you. Enjoy yourself. I worship God. Amen, somebody. Oh, come on, amen, somebody. Oh, I said amen, somebody. God is good. Take your Bible to the book of Mark chapter 4. We're reading from 35. Mark. Mark. Oh, Mark. Mark 4, 35. I told Jeff to take the box away because people promised me that they would look into their phone. They won't go to Facebook or WhatsApp. Yeah, and Dishala is waiting for you. From 35. And the same day when the even was come, he had said unto them, let us pass over unto the other side. If the Bible is for you and the life, let us pass over to the other side. Underline that. Good. Yes. If the Bible is for you. Somebody say amen. Bible said, and Jesus told his disciples, said, let us go to the other side. Amen. Or he said, let us pass over to the other side. You see, when you read the Bible and it's in red, it means that it was the spoken word of God. He said, let us go to the other side because to my understanding, there is something on the other side. That is why the Bible is written in red on that side. Jesus has preached so much, but on the other side, there is something there that Jesus needs to get to. You see, in life, when something good is about to happen to you, the enemy will always find a way to take it away from you. But when you stay with God, the enemy will try, but you will always be an overcomer. Amen, somebody. You see, I need you to understand, the Bible said he got to go to the other side. There is something on the other side. This morning I'm here to announce to you now whatever the enemy is planning to take away from you because something is stopping God from coming to you or something is stopping the blessings of God from getting to you. This morning I'm here to announce to you that the power of God can overcome all of them if you are going to stay with God. Please read on. You understand? And when they had sent away the multitude, they took him even. 35. And the same day when the even was come, he said unto them, let us pass over unto the other side. And when they had sent away the multitude, and they took him even as he was in ship, and there were also with him other little ships. And there arose a great storm of wind, and the waves beat. And the line, the word great storm of wind. Great storm of wind.
Amen. Amen. And there arose a great storm of wind, and the waves beat into the ship, so that he was now full, and he was the hinder part of Amen. the ship. Amen. Listen to this. Listen to this. Bible said, after Jesus has preached, he was about to go to the other side. But when he decided to go, Bible said, there arose a wind. Amen. Listen. Anytime something, there was somebody at the other side who needed to be saved. But Bible said, when he was going, a wind rose up against him. This morning, anything that has been risen against you, I said this morning, anything that has been risen against your movement, your job, your life, Everybody may the fire and they may the power of Jehovah uh, may it descend upon them this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. You see, my father used to say something. Anytime I go through trouble and I call him, he will say, with, with God in the boat, you can face the storm. Once he said that, you need to shut up. Amen. He will talk and talk and the last word that will come out of him with Christ in the boat you can face the storm. Amen. There was something on the other side that needed to be saved. Amen. You see, sometimes when you are going through life certain things can rise up against you. Bible says with Jesus the storm. You see, there was somebody there that Jesus needed to save that day. So he said, listen, we are done over here, let's move. But when he started to move, something decided. Listen to this. Bible said, he's like, we have to go to the other side. So he started to move. Once, you, you see the way I'm moving now, listen. Once he started to move, the, the spirit of the storm saw that, hey, there is somebody moving. And he's about to save somebody. So the devil decided that I have to find a way to stop him. As children of God, whatever you are going through, once you decide to make a move, the enemy will always find a way. You see, when Jesus decided to move, somebody show it in, in, in the sky. They show it that the master is moving. And he's not moving because he's moving. He's moving because somebody, because Bible said he was preaching and all of a sudden he downloaded it from heaven within a spirit man. Somebody needed to be saved at this hour. And he said, no, no, we got to stop what we are doing and we have to move because somebody needed to be saved. But once he started to move, the enemy saw that, hey, somebody is about to be saved. So he deployed the demonic wind to come against him. Any demonic wind that have been assigned to come against you, I summoned them. Jesus, I need you to understand that in life, as you are moving on, the devil will always find something to come and stop you. You see, you will only know when you are with God. If you don't have God, you will never, never know. Because, watch this. Bible said, the disciples were in the boat and the storm came and they did not have the wisdom to stop it. But they were with the master. It means if God doesn't open your eye in life, half of the things you go through, you will never see them. So those of us who are worshipping God like we want to, it's fine. There is nothing wrong. But there are things that will hit your life that you will never, never see it. And the shoulder, please read for me. And he 
was the hinder part of the ship, uh -huh. asleep on a pillow, and they awake him and say unto him, Master, carest thou not that we perish? And he arose and rebuked the wind. No, so watch this. If the Bible is for you, underline it. He arose and rebuked. Underline it. Listen. Bible said, you see, the disciples, because they did not understand the wisdom of God, if Jesus was not in the boat, they would die. If Jesus was in there, what are you going through that you are lacking God? Some of us, the things we go through, we do not even call God. We are children of God. I need you to understand that Bible said the disciples, they, they had no wisdom. They, listen, maybe they, 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 are, they are good fishermen, but they have not seen this wind before. This was a different kind of wind. It wasn't an ordinary wind because someone needs to be saved. And Bible said when they began to move, a demonic wind arose, wanted to wipe them out. I need you to learn how to use the word rebuke. When you, when you read the, the, the Bible, most of the time that Jesus had to face something, he always used the word rebuke. It's, it's one of the key in the word of God. The word rebuke is a key. Amen. I need you to, listen, whenever you learn that word, you can overcome the enemy. It's a certain level of power. You say, what you have to say is, the Lord rebuke you. Whatever you are going through, you say, I am going through this problem and you this problem, the Lord rebuke you. Amen, somebody. Whatever you are going through, God always has a way of taking you out. Whatever you are going through, God always has a way to what? To take you out. You have to stay with God. Bible said there arose a wind against him. And he arose and he said, God, there is this demonic wind who want to what? Stop me from getting to my blessing. Jesus said, hey, hey, he said, you cannot stop this way. He saw the wind differently than the, end, the disciples saw the wind. They saw it as a normal fisherman wind, eh? To put it that way. But that wind wasn't an ordinary wind. Maybe what you are going through right now something is stopping you or something is breaking you down as a child of God you cannot see it as ordinary I don't look at anything that happened to me as ordinary I don't do that before I do ordinary I go spiritual and I look at it before I come back to ordinary if I have to let it go I leave it I say devil this one I'm not dealing with it I'm tired this one you have to do Amen. Oh, come on, amen. And the please read. And he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea, Peace be still. And the wind ceased, and That's there was no. great calm. Look at what he well, look at what he did. When he woke up, he started to speak. No crying. If it were to be me and you, we woke up. Hey, Rade Yangoba. This window, you are here again. Oh, Jesus. He says, Oh, this window. But by the time you finish this, so you are dead. <laughs> Amen. As a child of God, it's okay to cry, no problem. But before you cry, you have to rebuke the problem. Most of the problem we have is that we see everything ordinary. As a child of God, when you go through something, it is not ordinary. Your eye needs to be open before you, you go to ordinary. 
Because there are some of the things you don't need to deal with them. You need to leave them alone. Amen. Listen, especially you go to work and uh, they go to meeting. <laughs> you go to meeting and they are talking. They are talking. They are talking. They said, we are going to give, like, where is Brother Richard? Like, hey, but I, would, I want to use Brother Richard. He likes OT, so I want to use OT. And he go to work Monday. And they said, they, they call a meeting, all the workers. And they said to them, at the end of this, uh, this month, we've decided that we are giving everyone $850 for free because you have been faithful to this job. <laughs> and they start asking, do you, have, do you have something to say? And everybody is talking. If they ask him, and I was him, I will say, no, no, everything they said is good. Let's wait for the end of the month. You don't need to go in there, you understand? Now you are going to explain yourself that I'm a good worker, I've been coming to work. For what? <laughs> hey man, listen. Listen, back in my old job, it was like that. They, they used to do that. Small, they would, they would say, hey, today, uh, plant manager said he's buying pizza for everyone. And these guys, they were complaining too much. Hey! So all the time, they would come to me and say, Josh, what, what, what do you think? I said, when would the pizza show up? I'm not paying for it. So why should I complain? Just whether it's pepperoni or uh, how do you call the other one? Just bring it. Are you going to add two liter bottle of drink? That's all. You, you understand? But this guy, some of them are complaining like, listen, I need uh, half pepperoni, half this thing. I need it. You have to put, ah, I'm standing like, are you kidding me? Just bring a pizza. Even if it's plain, bring it. Are you, are, you, are, you, are, you, are you there? Why are you complaining? Now you are going to, if you want a special pizza, see Brother Kerry, he will show you pictures of it. I don't know where he got it from, but whew. you see the pizza you see and you are, you, you are uh, what are you talking about? You see that kind of pizza? Yes. He. No, are you understanding me? Don't complain, just enjoy it. Some of us, we, we talk too much. And it gets into a problem. You understand? If you go to work and they said something is going to be a blessing, you leave them to talk. All you have to say is that when will you bring the check? Is it going to be regular check or is it going to the account? Direct deposit. Because at the end of the day, it's about the money. It's not about what you are going to, you, you understand. That's all you got to say. We are children of God. Amen. Whatever come in your life as a child of God, I have come to understand and I need you to understand. It's all of them that comes to break you. Some of them come to make you strong. You are going to go something, through something a little bit. Ah, yes. But the problem is, you have to open your eyes. Listen, you have to pray that God open my eye that anything that comes into my life, I will see it. It's not only only pastor. Who, the eye open is not for only pastor. It's for everyone. It's part of the full coverage as a child of God. It's part of it. That your eyes should be open for you to see that this is done. No, this one. Maybe I need to stay away from here. Your eyes need to open to see as you will fall into problem all the time. Let's go to six. Let's go to six. Mark, Mark six. Then we're gonna, then we're gonna come to that. The timekeeper is, is on my head. Five, sorry. Five. Five. Four more minutes I will start. Because, listen, Bible said, and, and Jesus said to his disciples, we need to go to the other side. It means that, you see, the thing is in red. So you have to know that he did not perceive out of himself. As he was there, 
the spirit of God spoke to him that I need to stop now and go to the other side. There was something on the other side. That's why heaven had to stop him. Amen. But once he was moving, the spirit that was disturbing whoever was there found out that something was coming. And that thing coming will bring you freedom. The thing find out. So they decided that we have to know, no, where the guy is coming from. The only demon we can find is the demon of the what? Of the wind. So they deploy that demon. They say, we need you to attack him because we don't want him to come here. Anything that has decided to cross you, that you can't get to your destiny, that you can't get to wherever you want to get to, this morning, I summons all of them to the lion's den. Oh, oh, come on, somebody. I summons all of them to the lion's den. Anyone who has decided in their heart, like, hey, this year it won't be well with you. I summons all of them uh, to Jesus this morning. I said, I summons all of them. Somebody put your hand on your belly. Begin to pray right now. Begin to pray one minute. Spirit of God, say, begin to pray right now. I can't hear anybody. Open your mouth. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth. Open your mouth and pray. I want to hear you. Anything that have, that have decided that they are going to stop you. Somebody pray. Now, now, now. Somebody pray for the next one minute. That anything that has planned to stop you now, 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 now. Somebody pray anything that has decided to stop you. Ah, may the Spirit of God deal with them right now. Open your mouth, open your mouth and pray. Oh, Jesus, my God. Anything that has decided to stop the move of King's house, to stop the move of King's family. May the Spirit of God deal with them right now. Yes, yes, somebody pray. Jesus. 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 Amen. Amen. Michelle, please read for me. And they came over um, onto the side of the sea, into the country of Gadarenes. And when he was, um, he was come out of the ship, immediately there met him out of the tombs, a man with an unclean spirit who had his dwelling among the tombs, and no man could bind him, no, not with chains, because he had been often bound with fetters and chains, and the chains had been plucked asunder by him, and the fetters broken in pieces, neither could any man tame him. And always, night and day, he was in the mountains and in the tombs, crying and cutting himself with stones. But when he saw Jesus afar off, he ran and worshipped him, and cried with a loud voice, and said, what, ha what have I to do with thee, Jesus, the Son of the Most High? I adjure thee by God, that thou torment me not. For he said unto him, Come out of the man, thou unclean spirit. And he asked him, What is thy name? And he answered, saying, my name is Legion, for we are many. And he besought him much that he could not send them away out of the country. Now there was nigh, now there was there nigh unto the mountains a great head of swine feeding, and all the devils besought him, saying, Send us into the swine that we may enter into them. And forthwith Jesus gave them leave. And the unclean spirit went out and entered into the swine. And the head ran valiantly down a steep place into the sea. They were about, thou, about 2,000 and were choked in the sea. Amen. Amen. Because of time, that's why I allow you to read. I want to explain to you. Now you understand the reason why the wind was trying to stop Jesus. This man has been there and he needed to be saved. You see, the legion spirit, the spirit, there are 6,000. The spirit that was in the man, there are 6,000. So somebody saw 
that help was coming. Anyone who has seen that help is coming your way. And they are trying to stop it. May the God that we serve, listen, may the God that we serve, oh, you, don't, you didn't hear me. I said, anyone who has, listen, Bible said when Jesus was born, there were men who saw that somebody was born. There are people who can see that you, this is how your future will be. You don't know. There are people who can see. There are people who can, listen, two years ago I was preaching in a church in Bridgeport and there was this guy there. And I see handcuffs on his hand. And I called him. I said, you, I need to pray for you. The guy is a great man. But you know what was happening to him? He was going out of jail back and forth. Because I saw a crown on him. And the spirit of God said, the devil know what will come out of him. So he's locking him up back and forth. So by the time the guy realized, he has hit like 80 years. And whatever God sent him to come and do, he will never get there. Amen. So there are people who can see. Listen, if someone was able to see the star of Jesus, who think that somebody cannot see your star? They can see it. Amen. And someone can see your star and, and they will say in their spirit, you, you will never, never get there. And I tell you, when you joke, you can never get there. So this morning, I need you to wake up within yourself. When you come to Friday prayer and you are not working, come and pray. Are you here? You have to come. This time, Friday is not like the way you are thinking anymore. Last Friday, Minister Roberta was here. He was fire over here. No, are you understanding me? Now, Friday is not ordinary Friday anymore. You are here. If you are home, don't sleep. Because maybe somebody has seen your star and they are putting the spirit of sleep upon you. And say, you, oh, don't mind. Let her sleep. Let her sleep. You are getting your body. It's cold. The first word is, it's cold. Why do you want to go outside? No, are you understanding me? Because maybe, oh, let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you. Someone can see your star and they will quench it. 